win under my belt, and I want to kind of get on a roll, keep the momentum going. I would say I'm, I'm kind of aggressive from the baseline. Um, I try to really take it early and, and really move up to the ball and uh, try to put pressure on my opponent. I also try to finish the points at the net when I can. I tried doing that today, coming up to the net when I had opportunities. So that's something I try to do. In terms of my lead up for the slam, yes, I got asked about it a few times. And to me, you know, I looked back on my year and I've had different lead ups to every slam and performed well in, in every one of them. So I don't think there's a magic recipe that, you know, if I get to the quarters of the warm up event, you know, I'll, I'll do well at the slam. I think it's, uh, you just take it as it goes. Obviously, I would have liked more matches, um, but that's, that's the way it is sometimes. So. I feel like uh, I practiced well before, and that's that was the best I could do at that moment. So, um, so, so yeah, you know, I still feel very confident in myself, and I'm happy with today. And uh, I'm excited. I just get the opportunity to play another match at the U.S. Open. Yeah, last year it was my first uh, professional U.S. Open. Qualies are main, and I was in the main, so uh, I was I was just very excited to be on site in the main locker room, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, going into this one, um, I mean, I feel like the the past few weeks have been a bit of a struggle. So I don't feel like I'm putting too many high expectations on myself. But you know, I have the inner confidence that. I know if I'm, I'm playing as well as I know I can, that I can do well. And I don't want to set a specific, you know, goal to reach a certain round or anything like that because every round is so tough here. But, um, you know, I, I always know that I can do well. Well, movement is definitely important for me because I like to take it so early. I need to be able to react very quickly and get up to the ball as fast as I can uh, to try, you know, take it early and put pressure. Um, so I'm definitely feeling healthier than I have the past few weeks. For about a week now, I've been feeling pretty good um, with my knees and hamstring. So I'm happy with that. You know, uh, I took a lot of time off for these injuries. So I think, you know, I feel good on the court, just maybe not as much practice or matches have gone into it that I wanted. So, um, you know, it's that give and take that you have to do for the body. Um, but I'm, I'm feeling good now, so I'm happy, and I want to just play more matches. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never had any Canadian tennis influences. I looked up to the best, um, Steffi Graf, Maria Sharapova. I remember watching Monica Sellis play. Uh, any great champions, I just I looked up to. Uh, yeah, it's it's an honor. It's it's a, a big deal. People tell me, um, so I'm I'm happy with that. It was. Uh, it was a lengthy article, so uh, I, I did read it, and uh, yeah, I, th I think it's great. Um, you know, I was excited to see it. All my friends and family saw it, and um, you know, I think it, I think it's a good thing. Eugene, if you were in charge of the sport, if you could change any rule about the way the game was played, adjust a rule, add a new rule, whatever you like, what change would you like to make? That's an interesting question. I would allow fans to come in between every game and allow them to be louder and more into it. I think it would be more fun for them. And I think tennis is the sport where maybe the fans are kind of told to be the most quiet and uh, you know, really obey the rules. 
So I think uh, I think it'd just be more fun and appealing to fans if, if they can get into it if they want to and if they can kind of come in, you know, as soon as they want to without waiting for so long. I remember being a fan and having to wait two games and, you know, it's tough. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. It's a different atmosphere than Wimbledon. Um, they're each special in their own way, but the energy coming from the city and from the fans is, is always so special. I haven't experienced it too much, but um, today I definitely um, you know, felt the fans get really intense. You know, so I, I was hearing some of them, and they're, they're more intense than me almost. So I'm like, okay, calm down. <laughs> but it's great. That's, that's what you want from fans, so I love it. For sure. Uh, when you lose tough matches, the toughest ones for me were when I was really close, maybe if I had chances or even match points and would lose the match, the kind of heartbreak matches. I would maybe shed a few tears. Um, I don't, I think, I mean, I, I definitely did after the Wimbledon final, so that would probably be the most recent one. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an emotional game and, you know, you really want to win, so sometimes that happens. I think um, it's when you're just really focused on, you know, what you need to do on the court. I try to kind of get into the zone as often as I can, but that's not always possible. I don't know if I was today or not, um, but I'm, I'm happy with the way I played. I think uh, a few matches a year, you really get into the zone and kind of everything goes your way. But all the other matches, it's a struggle. So, um, you know, you have to learn to find a way to win even when you're not in the zone and when you're not playing your best. When I fell, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I just remember hitting a forehand and then lying on the ground. So what happened in between, I have no idea. I'm totally fine. It was just embarrassing. <laughs> Well, when I played her at the Wimbledon final, I think she was playing outstanding tennis. She definitely deserved the title, and, you know, I give her a lot of credit. She was hitting the ball very clean and uh, very powerfully. So, you know, that's her game, and when she's on, it's, it's really tough to play. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, I think she has, you know, great shots. That's, that's really her, uh, her strength. Yeah, um, it was something I managed in New Haven. I heard it during practice a few days before the event and uh, therefore really cut down on practice before the event. So, you know, I didn't feel so good on the match court. But it's something I had to do again. Uh, so it was a bit unfortunate because I felt like I was playing a little bit better. Uh, since then, I've, um, you know, we, we taped it a little bit and it's something that healed pretty quickly. So I was, I was happy and... The past five days, six days or so, I've been great, and I really put in a lot of hours of practice here in New York City. It's something I felt like I've needed. No, I haven't thought about something specific. Um, I try to stay more in the moment. You know, of course, that's a dream of mine to win a Grand Slam. But, you know, I'll think of something crazy. Hopefully, once I've accomplished that, I don't want to get ahead of myself. You know, it's a long, tough journey to win one. And uh, at any slam, I'm just focused on the next match and only celebrate after at the end if I ever have that chance. So, Yep, I, I don't think I've ever played her. I know... Uh, I practiced with her a few times, and I, I know she really likes to, to whack the ball, so I'm going to be ready for, um, you know, a tough match. I think we're both going to try to be really aggressive, but I'm feeling better with my movement and better with my game, and I'm going to try and impose as usual.
I learned a lot. It was an experience I'll never forget. I have happy memories from that day as well, even though I lost. It was a very special moment and occasion. Um, you know, I felt I could have done a few things better, but again, my opponent definitely outplayed me. But, you know, I was talking with my coach, and if I have a chance to be in another final, you know, um, at least I know what it feels like. I kind of have that a little bit in experience, and, um, you know, I would maybe take my time a little bit more, try not be rushed by the occasion, um, you know, try anything to kind of stay in the match, things like that. But, um, you know, I think it was a really good experience. I think, I mean, my memory's not very good, but I remember watching her when she had the beads in her hair. So that was probably my first memory of Serena and Venus. And they would fall on the court, and then it would like cause a huge commotion. So I remember that. Um, that was a while ago. So it's amazing to think that she's still so on top of her game, like 10 years later, something like that. Um, but I think, I mean, I think she's the greatest woman player of all time. So... Um, you know, she can't do much wrong. Thank you. Thank you.